like Hal having to print that story. Yeah, I was disappointed too, Ed. Well, Judge Cossack and I thought you'd be a great city councilman. Sure, you could have won without any trouble. Though. Absolutely. What you, people don't seem to understand is some people are cut out to be politicians and some people are not. Go on, once you got used to it, you would have loved it. And then you could become part of the new breed of politicians that our city so desperately needs. You see, honey, I'm not the only person that thinks that you're making a mistake. So what do you say, Ed? Change your mind tonight? I'll put it in the morning edition. I'll scoop every other newspaper. And I'll write an editorial supporting you, okay? Mm -hmm. So could uh, people believe everything they read in your paper? Why, of course, Ed. <laughs> well, I believe your paper said that my decision not to run was final. You better believe that. Well, I seem to be suddenly unpopular. Oh, no, what is this, uh, uh, wondering... No, if Benny said he wants the car, let Miss be Lieutenant Seaver. Excuse me, Seaver? Huh? I didn't know he was coming. That's one vote I wouldn't get. Oh, how come? I don't know. I am too uh, progressive, too liberal. Uh, I mean, everybody, this is Benny's boss, Lieutenant Caesar. Hi. Uh, this is my wife, Carly. Oh, Carly. Yes. But you don't know my mother-in-law, Mrs. Gray. Please to meet you, ma'am. I see you. Uh, I know just about everybody else, Mrs. Riley, Mr. Riley. Oh, are you the tenant? Well, not too well. Good to see you, sir. Good. So, uh, what's the big event? Well, the commercial's going to go on at 6, 9.30, and Vince should have one to hear in a minute. That's good. You know, I'm very, really very happy about this. I don't mind telling you that Vince Willeg is one of my most favorite cops. It's guys like Vince that make the backbone of the police force strong, you know? He knows what's right, and he knows what's wrong, and that's that. And he's not wishy-washy about the moral fiber that this country was founded upon. I'm telling you, he's one of the... Oh, it's just a baby. Yeah. What, what do you want us to do? Well, in the hide in the kitchen. Hi. 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 Hi.
Oh, I knew. Aren't you glad you got dressed up, huh? You got the postcard? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I brought it somewhere. Yeah, here it is. Thanks. Right there. Hey, fellas. Yeah. Fellas, where's the beer? Where's the beer? Where do you expect it to be? I'll get it. Wait a What's the matter? Aren't you happy about all this? I don't know. Oh, Ed, it's such fun. Yeah, 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 certainly. I'm certainly glad to see somebody else is climbing up the ladder of success. Take some of the heat off me, you know? No, don't you let those people bother you. You just do what's right for you. Well, that's what I keep telling myself, Sadie, but, uh... The other one? What do you mean, the other one? No, see, I did two of them. And I don't know from this postcard which one is he showing. So, what's the difference? Oh, there's a lot of difference. B doesn't even know about the other one. Oh, boy, if it's the other one. Well, sweetheart, can I get you a drink? Oh, yes. You know, I think I would like to sample some of Wanda's famous beer. A beer, you? Yes, why not? Why? Well, I'll tell you what it is. Yeah. Oh, and you didn't tell that to Vinny? No. <laughs> no, I think it's not there. What? It's <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay. 